everybody, it's me, Brie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be finishing up the apartment purge. We have only accomplished less than 50% of the apartment. We did get the office done and all of that in the kitchen and the living room, which were the big areas, but we still have the laundry room, a couple closets, a couple bathrooms in our room. So we will see how it goes, but let's just go ahead and get into it. This is way heavier than it looks and I'm sweating because oh my gosh and look how dirty this is from like litter or oh I'm disgusted my maintenance guy is gonna kill me and that's also why you don't put shelving up so high to where you cannot reach it it wasn't even that high okay I'm being dramatic however a mess Okay, so that's everything in the laundry room that we are going to be changing. Let me just give you a quick update. In the laundry room, we have shoes. We are still going to go through this. However, I'm going to bring that out later with Char so we can do it together with the other one in the closet. All of this stuff we're keeping, all the plant pots and whatnot, because we want to see what we have going on in the new house before we get rid of anything. And then all of that's coming with us. Obviously, these are staying here. The next room is the hall closet, which I just got the power tool out of there. And everything in here is going. We already looked through these jackets the other day to kind of see what we wanted to go through. And we are keeping all of them. And we are keeping those as well. So, there we go. This is done also. Next room is the bedroom. So, we are going to go through my end table. And then we're also going to go through the closet, which I am excited about you know how i feel about closet purges but we're only gonna be focusing on my stuff Shar can do this later if she wants to that's her stuff i'm not doing it so let's go this is actually too easy this is garbage this is used and done garbage uh more garbage All of this stuff is going into the office. This is trash. I think this is the remote for the other fan. I'll probably put batteries in that. And then bathroom. And this is what it is going to end up looking like. To be quite honest, it's fine. It's not perfect. We'll survive. Okay, really quick before we move on to the closet. Yeah, I'm sitting on the floor. The toilet's right here and the kitchen's right here. Anyways, I wanted to talk about something that I thought was really cool. So if you guys hadn't heard, I've shopped at ThreadUp before and I love Fabletics. And they partnered up to do this thing where ThreadUp will send you a bag. And what will happen is you can fill the bag with all of your clothes and then send it back to them. And if they take your clothes instead of paying you like money, they will give you credit for Fabletics to shop. Now, because of my obsession with Fabletics, I just really, really like them. Even just a lot of my lounge clothes I get from them. Like even my sweats I'm wearing right now are Fabletics. This is the bag. I love them. So I just thought to be smart, like I was going to sell some stuff on Poshmark, but I decided I'm just going to put it all in the bag and just get like credit that way. Because since I shop at Fabletics so much, it only seemed right. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna try that out. I will let you guys know how the process goes and how like nitpicky thread up is. I don't know, I've never sent them any clothes or sold them any clothes, so I'm not 100% sure. So we're gonna see how it goes and I will give you guys an update later. Okay, so as I went through that, uh, honestly, it was super, super quick just because I've obviously gone through it before and pretty recently. So that was easy. I did get rid of like five items, maybe six put them in the bag, and so now we just wait for Shar to finish up her little purge of her stuff. So yeah, we're gonna take a quick break, probably for some 
food or I'm not sure. I'll just see you back in a little bit. Guess who just got home? Me. <laughs> so this is what I did for anybody who wants to know how my mind works. Good luck. Since I already went through the laundry room, I brought out the shoes that were in there. Well, these were in there. And then I brought out the shoes that were in the front room that we still needed to go through. And then I brought all of our bags out here. Well, my bags mostly, but I think Shara has a couple in here. One. One bag. So we're gonna go through this really quick. That way we can finish. Okay, that's it. Got rid of all this stuff. These purses and shoes. And some ass. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. So we finished up the bags and the shoes. And I'm pretty happy with how much, well me, I got rid of. Sharp pretty much kept a lot of her stuff, but it was mostly mine anyways. But I'm not feeling too great. I have a really bad headache. But before I stop filming for today, I wanted to show you guys what I got in the mail from Amazon. So you know those really high-end like water kettles, I think they're called. I think it's called Fellow. I could be so wrong, but I think that's the one it costs like $130, $150 for this white kettle. And I decided I am not gonna do that. I probably would if I had bougie girl money, but I do not. So I was looking on Amazon to see if I could find something that was like similar aesthetic, but for a way cheaper of a price. So I'm gonna show you what I got. So this is the meet your needs kettle. This is the box. I don't think she looks bad. It only had eight reviews though. So with stuff like that, I get a little nervous, you know, cause not a lot of people have tried it out so of course it makes you a little bit nervous so this is the hot plate okay definitely feels really plasticky so like you can hear it very lightweight so let's just hope it works well so let's just show you the kettle okay so the kettle itself feels way more durable than i expected so this is what it looks like it's not bad that is with the top on it. And I want to give it a go. I'm a little nervous. I really hope it works well. The eight reviews though that it had seemed really, really good. So let's put some water in here. And then we're going to put the lid on. And it has like a, like steam holes. Let me take this out. Steam holes there. Let's see. Don't mind the mess. Oh, she lights up. Now we wait. Okay, so we can hear it boiling. However, it said it's supposed to turn off when it's done. But you see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's steam coming up, so let's see if it works. Let's see if it turns off by itself. Okay, it works. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Well, now I know that it works. Okay, 
I have my cup because I wanted to show you guys the hot pour. Grab the handle. Hot, steamy water. I like it. So, I just wanted to show you guys that. And I think it's cute. I don't think it's ugly. I think... This is my vision. So, in our new house, I want to make like a coffee tea bar. And I was thinking I could have this on it and have just like a little bottle of water that I could just pour into it in the morning or whatever. And then just flick of the wrist. Start boiling it. So all of my drink beverage areas aren't all dispersed. Because in this kitchen, you have like your matcha tea area. And then you have your coffee in the other corner. So I was just thinking I won't have to use the oven or anything to boil water. I could just have this really simple on like, you know, a little tea bar area, coffee bar. So yeah, there's that. But anyways, that was fun. I'm gonna go ahead and be done for the night, take a break for the night, and probably take some medicine and probably go to sleep early tonight. Whatever. I will see you guys in the morning or tomorrow to finish this project up. Okay, you guys, it's two days after we last filmed. Yesterday, I still felt like poop on a stick, so I was not going to do anything. Whatever, I woke up today feeling good. I had a little bit of training to do. So when I come out from my training, I look out on the counter and it is all the bathroom stuff, okay? Now that's not how I wanted to finish this, uh, this purge, this purge. However, that's how Shar said she was gonna do it. So this is how we're doing it. Um, so yeah, everything is right behind you guys <laughs> on, the, on the counter. So, I mean, I guess it's good so we can see everything that we have. That was my goal. Okay. That was our goal. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yeah, my hair's not gonna get any better today. Whatever, so let's just go ahead and get started. We'll purge the last of the bathroom stuff and then honestly, we will be done. So this is what we are dealing with. Surprise! We have all of the towels, all of the, we had sheets up there as well. This is all of our like hair care. Oh no. Hold on, my dad's calling me. Sorry, we're back. How to talk to my dad. So anyways, this is what's happening right now. We are going to go ahead and get started and finish this purge. So we have purged everything. Everything else that is on here is staying. We did make some sort of a dent, kind of reorganized a couple things. And now we have to put it all away. Okay, so this is it. This is everything we purged out of the apartment that is going to be sold, donated, or just thrown away. All right, everybody. So that is everything for today's video. We completely finished the purge of the apartment, and I'm really excited to have it done and over with just to be one step closer to the move. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.